if you're new, welcome. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the family. Let me fix what's going on here. My face is very shiny. What, what's happening here? Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, let me put my glasses on so I could see what's up and who's here. Awesome. It's snack check. Snack, not just not snack check, snack chat Sunday. I can see where this day is about to go. <laughs> hey, Monique from Orange County. Oh, it's hot over there. Oh my gosh. Hey, Grant is in the house. Grant's our moderator and he can answer any questions that I don't get to. And if you act crazy, he will kick you out. Um, hey, Barb. Um, let's see. I missed the snack chat. We don't use that anymore. Yes, snack chat. Snack chat Sunday. Um, hey, Julie. Uh, hey, Tammy's in the house. Hey, Tammy, how are you? How, how is everything going? Um, let's see. Who else is in the house? Hey, Carolina. And Judith. And HDJ. What's up? What's up? Hey, Big D Steel. <laughs> I asked you to marry, like, marry you like five months ago. Sorry. Sorry. And Julie says, hello, everybody. Hey, Britt and Nelson. Sunday fun day. Oh, my gosh. Jay Sorgi is in the house. Sorgi stories. Holy macaroons. How you doing? Good to hear about this. Anthony here. Oh, hey. Hey, Anthony. Awesome. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Michelle. Uh, let's see. Hey, Belinda and Vicky. And the Dirty Knobs. Russ from Bristol, UK. Uh, also, a moment of silence for the queen. Um, that is very sad, and uh, I know there's a lot of um, stuff going on with the death of the queen, and so you know that's a big deal. It's a big deal. Also, before we get too much too much further, uh, this is the I think 21st anniversary of 9/11, um, so that's also a very sad, tragic event. Um, I know the motto is never forget, but also I know it's like never forget, but also. Um, you know, it's not something I want to always think about all the time. I mean, everybody, not everybody dies every day, but I mean, people die every day. And, you know, we shouldn't celebrate or like remember everyone else's or those people's death and not everybody else's death. So I kind of feel some type of way about always kind of reminiscing about it. But I also know that it was like a, a United States thing. So hopefully that made sense because I'm tired today and I'm not maybe making so much sense. Um, let's see. Hey, CP1648 from South Texas. I am doing great, Nelson. Thank you. Hey, Christine is in the, in the house. Vanderwoman. Um, Vanderwoman has an awesome new YouTube channel. So if you're not following Vanderwoman, you should be. And we just filmed... An interview and a tour today and had lunch she treated me to lunch and I, I thought that was the nicest thing ever so sweet so uh, everybody uh, say hi to Christina and go visit her channel because she's awesome um, let's see modern day pilgrim hello hey turtle Graham. butterfly tracks how are you big D steel South Bend Indiana Indiana here Therese shine hey from Florida thanks Nelson oh DK for short all right um, hey, cool styles. Did you decide on a name for the journey channel? So far, I liked a lot of the names um, that you guys brought to the uh, comment section. So for those that don't know what um, we're talking about, I'm starting a second channel that's going to be releasing this coming week. Uh, it's going to be live this coming week. So the a name at this point is Allison Loves. But there were some cool ones that I was like, you know what, I might consider that. I wrote a bunch of them down from the comments. And so I will go through the list and just think about it. Um, and it may stay Allison Loves because that's the simplest. I already started like making like the banner and stuff like that. But I might go through it and change it. So I don't know. I'm going to just figure it out in the next couple days. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, Win-Win. I'm doing great. How are you? Hey, Michelle from Washington. Hey, Felix Cat. Uh, DK says everyone remembers exactly where they were at. That's facts. That is so true. Hey, Sandy Grubb. I'm um, looking forward to adding the new chat. Awesome. Awesome. 
Hey, Phil Leo. Oh, Michelle coming real strong. First off with a dollar ninety nine. Spoiler alert. I love that. Let me give you a shout out. Wow. Let's see. Let me uh, pull this thing up. This is a little sound generator. Let's give you. Ooh, let's give you this one. Hey. It's delayed because it's coming off of my um, airplay, my van airplay. Because my, I had. Let me turn it off. Okay, that's a little better. Hopefully you can hear that. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for the uh, super chat, super chat. Thank you, Michelle. Um, Nelson said there were September deaths this month. I mean, that's facts. There's deaths all the time, every minute, probably even more than every minute, multiple seconds. I don't know. I don't know the stats, but people are dying left and right all over the place. And we're all going to do it. That's something we all have in common. We're all going to die. So uh, you know, it is sad. Like when big events happen that are tragic to a lot of people, uh, then it kind of brings people together in a weird way, a sad way. Um, so I do understand why people kind of remember things like that, but it is just a sad thing, but everybody's dying. It's, it's just part of it. Uh, Jimmy never stopped loving our neighbors. Ooh, I love that one. That's a great one. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, Deb G, how are you? Janice says, ooh, you just started right. Yes, I did. Thank you for coming. Yes. Um, awesome, awesome. Let's see, let's see. Thinking of all the families on nine, of line 11. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. That's a, always going to be a tragic, tragic day. Sandy says, and we shouldn't dwell on the bad stuff. Remember the good stuff. Yes, I agree on that. Um, tech mentor, tech, uh, you're getting married, so I missed my opportunity. <laughs> no, this... Uh, this marriage proposal, I'll tell you in a second, but it, it didn't go well. Um, Phil says, what you been mentioning on lately, Ali? So, um, this week's been hard. This week, there was a massive heat wave. I talked about it last Sunday on the channel. There was a massive heat wave in San Diego. And not only was it flipping hot, but it was the most humid, like 80% humidity. So, it was just hot and sweaty, and I was just not going to cook. So, I didn't eat the best this week. Uh, I didn't eat the worst. I mean, I basically didn't eat as much as I usually eat. So I probably ate one or two meals a day. Uh, I drank a lot of water. So I've just been, I don't know, eating like veggie sandwiches. And I did, uh, yesterday my friend uh, Angel, she took me to a fancy dinner last night for my pre-birthday because I'm not gonna be with anybody on my birthday except for my parents. Because I'll be recovering from my surgery. Um, so I went out to a fancy Italian dinner last night. And I had truffle gnocchi. And it was delicious. Um, and then today my friend Christina, um, Vander Woman, took me out to Panera Bread. Which uh, I got the um, Caesar salad. No chicken. And their margarita flatbread. Which is delicious. Which I have a couple pieces left. I don't think I'm going to be hungry again tonight because that was very filling. But that was the only thing I ate today was that half salad and um, a few pieces of that margarita bread. Bled, no, bread. Uh, pizza. Um, but we did go over to the 85 Degrees Bakery because they have the Filipino um, breads. And I got two of my favorite cheese breads. And these are... Um, they're sweet. They're sweet bread. So they have cheese in the middle, but it's more like, it's more like cream cheese frosting. So it's delicious. So I bought two of these. Um, I've been wanting to dig into this, but I'm actually still full from our lunch. So I'm probably going to eat a little bit of this, um, after the live stream. Uh, and then I have one more for maybe tomorrow or the next day. So that's kind of what I've been munching on. Um, Let's see. Let me scroll back here. Uh, Carolina, me too. Can't wait for the need edition. Oh, the channel. Oh, awesome, awesome. I know. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. 
Uh, JJ, you mentioned about possibly traveling internationally. Do you know about Twitch? There are live streamers who travel full time and make a living off Twitch. I do know about Twitch. Um, Twitch is a whole streaming situation, and you really have to be committed if you're going to do Twitch because you know people will subscribe to that um, every month. And I don't know. I'll look into it. I'll think about it, but we'll see. We'll see. Because I I'm kind of trying to get away from like doing all travel where I have to travel all the time. I love traveling, don't get me wrong, but like when you do something that you love for a living, then it kind of becomes like, you know, something you have to do all the time. And so I'm kind of trying to mix it up a little bit because I really wanted to like display what I'm doing on this channel, not display, but like share it with everybody and just encourage people to get out and live their lives. And I still want to do that, but I want to be able to you know do all kinds of things and not just in like one one place all the time okay let's see sounded like crickets at first yeah <laughs> love the whistling sound effect all right we're gonna get to this marriage proposal in just a minute i am k productions hey ivana's in the house two sisters and a cocktail that's my friend ivana hey was it the stoner that proposed to you <laughs> no it wasn't the stoner this, but this guy that I'm going to talk about maybe was stoned, but I don't know. Maybe I was, I got more than one proposal this week. Cause now that I'm thinking about that stoner, you're right. Um, that was another situation. Um, DK says 65 million people die each year in the world. That's 178,000 each day, 7,425 each hour and 120 each minute. Wow. That's factuals. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, Michelle says, it was me. I asked her. Just kidding. <laughs> I suppose Queen Elizabeth as well as 65 million people die in the world. Yes, that's true. That's true. Hey, Diane. How are you? Hey, Brenda from Ohio. I tried my best, but yes, the proposal didn't go well. <laughs> uh, let's see. You trying to start Sister Wives Club? No, I'm definitely not. Oh, Grant. To Grant? No. Janice says, I've never had a craving for potatoes until this channel. Went to Wendy's three days last week for baked potato. Hey, potatoes are legit. And potatoes will help you lose weight. It helped me lose weight. So I love potatoes. Um, Honest Review says, check your cash app at some point. Oh, let's check the cash apps. Let's check the cash apps. Uh, go oh Becky coming through with $25 on cash app thank you so much Becky um, let me give you a shout out I'm gonna give you a victory shout thank you very much Becky I appreciate you so so much for the donation I appreciate it a very very much um, also Hold on, let me clear this out. And there's another message. Ah! YouTube's telling me that I'm live, so I appreciate you, YouTube. And... Uh, okay, those are from before. I'm just... Oops. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for the donations. I appreciate it. Okay, let's scroll back, scroll back. And then I'm gonna get to, I'm gonna read these and then I'm gonna tell you my story. Uh, Janice says, oh, I love 85 degrees. Yes, those those uh, cheese breads are delicious. Phil says, stoner, hey, Alice, hey, like, wait, hey, like Allison Dudette, I know you don't drink, party, but what about shrooms? You know, shiitake, porcini on pizza with Diet Mountain Dew. Yeah, that wouldn't be my vibe. Uh, Vicky says, from, hey, from Lakewood, SoCal, I hope you're staying cool. How was your surgery? My surgery is coming up next, or this coming week on Thursday. Sweet potatoes are healthy as well, yes. Uh, Fire, hey, I just got here. Did you get married? I did not get married, but I'm going to tell a story in just a second. And welcome. Jenna says, I was just in Lakewood. I live in West LA. Oh, interesting. Uh, JJ says, Twitch has different categories too. You can play games or do whatever you wanted to do. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, no, I didn't get married. Um, DK says I accept. 
Chris says, greetings. Uh, Phil says, I have a quirky New York City humor. Tracy says, now that's a happy thought, yes. Uh, Christina says, should I say how someone was hovering around your van today? Oops, that's a, that's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother story. That's not even the story I'm gonna, gonna tell. Uh, Tree says, sister wives, yuck, never wanted to watch that backward, backwoods drama, no. Uh, DK says, on the positive side, the crude birth rate is 18.2 births per thousand population or 267 births globally per minute or 4.5 births every second. Oh, interesting. Uh, Andre Vu says, you're welcome. Yes, thank you so much. Phil says, I just sliced top round, ooh, top round beef marinated in teriyaki wok, sauteed the fresh onion. Onions, mushrooms, oysters, oyster sauce, touch of black bean, chili, and yum. Mmm, that sounds pretty good. Sandy says, your hair looks cute up like that. Thank you so much. My hair is atrocious. I appreciate the compliment, but it's it's so humid that it's kind of like oily and like frizzy. I can't manage the frizz, so I just threw it up like this this morning because I was like, you know what? It's just going to be what it's going to be. Oh, Tech Man Sewer Tech. Uh, I cook for you. Visit Memphis. Keto. Thank you for the... Uh, for the two dollar super uh, super chat super chat thank you thank you thank you let's give you well, let's give you an explosion and a party horn thank you thank you thank you i appreciate it as my friend tim says super chat squad um also yes um grant and his wife jackie just celebrated their 10 year wedding anniversary so everybody give a shout out to grant and his wife because 10 years is a long time bro listen five years being married is a long time in this in this day and age so i mean that's a big celebration for 10 years so congrats on the wedding anniversary um Teresa says yeah are you on patreon yes i do have a patreon uh grant just posted it so thank you for that <laughs> no one wants sister wives um, Phil says, do you keep rocking that tan glow and those sun-kissed hair highlights and you will need to hand out ticket numbers in the bakery to all the guys. <laughs> Thank you. Oh man. Yes. All the congratulations for Grant. Together for 22. That's, that's pretty nice. That's awesome. Okay. Let's, since we're speaking of wedding anniversaries, uh, this story doesn't have such as good of an ending so um i was minding my own business yesterday and i got an email actually it was this morning was it this morning this morning at 601 a.m okay you guys ready give me a thumbs up if you're ready for the story because i, I i've been having a hard time sleeping i don't know if you guys have been having a hard time sleeping but like I have a hard time staying asleep. I can usually fall asleep and then, or sometimes I can't, but sometimes I'll fall asleep and then I'll just wake up at like 2 a.m. and I just can't go back to sleep and then I do, but then I can't stay asleep. Also drink your water. Um, and so I woke up pretty early this morning and I checked my email and I guess this did come at six in the morning and I read it really quickly and I didn't really process it until later, uh, a couple like hours later when I was like, did that just, was that a real thing? So let's get into this because I see you guys are all ready with your thumbs ups. Everybody's giving Grant the congrats, which I love. Brenda says, congrats on 10 years. I was married for 49 years when my husband passed. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Brenda, about the cancer. But 49 years is a very long time. Congrats to that. All right, so I'm seeing all the thumbs ups. Oh, Dora's in the house, Gypsy Movement. Um, thank you for being here. Good to see you. Um, hey, Meredith. HGJ, you know it's going to be a what the story by the introduction of I was minding my own business. Yes. I was minding my own business. Barb says, ooh, I am that way too. Then finally fall asleep like 10 minutes before I need to get up. Exactly. Definitely have sleep disturbances since having C. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so I'm minding my own business. And I get this email, and it came through my website, um, which I don't get a lot of messages from my website, um, so that, that was already weird. Actually, before I got this email, I got a notice from my website saying somebody subscribed to my 
email list, which I do have an email list, so I never send anything, but you never know. There might be a surprise one day and I might send an, a mass email out, but so far I haven't, but you never know. So I get a, a notice saying that this person subscribed to my email list. Then I get this message from my website. Okay. First of all, it's from first name, baby Chris. Okay. Let me just tell you right off the bat, the bat, if I meet a guy and he introduces himself as baby Chris or anything to do with a baby, it's, it's going to be a no. I also don't really like guys with like weird nicknames, like, I don't know, smooth or pooky or like, I don't even know. Like, I can't think of other names, but I've seen them on these dating apps where guys will like have like some kind of um, nickname that's very like suave, you know what I mean? And I don't love it. Um, so the name is Baby Chris. Um, The first part of his email address, I won't give it out because I think that could be like bad for him getting emails because I think this person might be a troll, but I don't know. The first part of his email is Sword King. And it says, Dear Allison Sharp. So that's already alarming right there because who's saying my full name when they're emailing me? That's weird. But it says, Dear Allison Sharp, I'm Baby Chris in all lower cases, P.S. I'm 42, very single. I'm from Long Beach, Mississippi. First of all, there's a Long Beach, California, so I thought that's where he was going with this, but Mississippi. Um, which, of all my travels, Mississippi was one of the places that I didn't like 100% love. I maybe need to give Mississippi another chance, but I didn't really find anything that I was like in love with on Mississippi. So if you're from Mississippi though, and there's something I missed, let me know because I've been to a lot of states, and that one was one that I just didn't really love that much. Um, let me read some of these comments, and then I'll get back to it. Let's see. <laughs> Tracy, I used to be married, but now I'm better. <laughs> Julie says, I blame mon menopause. I mean, facts. Phil says, don't tell me another van dweller without AC offered to mar marry you for your portable AC. I mean, that would actually probably actually happen, but it, that didn't happen. Therese says, sex is better after hysterectomy. Prayers. I mean, I, I haven't been having any sex, so I don't know one way or another on that. Um, 33 years to the love of my life. Oh, big dog. That's so sweet. Oh, thank you, Grant, for posting the links. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to donate to the snack fund, feel free to do that. Uh, Grant posted the links. I appreciate every donation. Um... Michelle says, Big Daddy, yes. If somebody's name is Big Daddy, I'm immediately out. Big Daddy, no, we're grown here. And I'm almost 50 years old. Don't be Big Daddying me. That's weird. I'm not into it. I'm not into it. What the frick, says Dory. I just saw the title of the video. Fire says, Baby Snack. I'm, that's, uh, that's so funny. That's fun. That's what I think of when I hear a Baby Chris. I'm like, I don't want anything baby. Rico Suave. Daddy Mac and Cheese for Travel Snacks. I mean, I do like mac and cheese, but no, I don't. Sword King. Rico was so soft. <laughs> Tiger King, Sword King, maybe for LeBron <laughs> You guys are cracking me up. I wouldn't even give this dude a mention. Move on. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. Uh, if you haven't already done yes, don't forget to throw a like on it. Unless Sword King has a stage or magic act. <laughs> oh my gosh, so funny. Okay, hold on. Let me check this message and then um, I'll continue because... It gets crazy from here. Oh, Tammy. Tammy always is like sending all these donations, but Tammy just sent $75 on Cash App. Thank you so much, Tammy. I, I would like to give Tammy a hallelujah. Thank you so much, Tammy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very much of a blessing. Um, okay, so here we go. So baby Chris is from Mississippi and he says, I mean, maybe this isn't a boy. I'm just assuming. Anyways, we'll just say it's a boy. Would you like to be my future wife or my new girlfriend? I think he thought it through. Maybe he's like, you know, maybe wife is too much, 
but he jumped off with, would you like to be my future wife or my new girlfriend in my life? Um, the thing is like, I have never seen this person before. So when somebody says, would you like to be my new wife? I don't know how I would know the answer to that. Like, would you like to be my new wife or new girlfriend in my life? How would I know? How would I know if I want to or not want to? Like, I'm not that desperate to just take the first offer. You know what I mean? Like, I do want a partner, but also, that's weird. And then he puts his number in his full number so I could call or text. And he says, call or text me when you get a chance. Why? What am I calling or texting about? I guess to like say yes or no. I don't I don't really know. It's weird. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Um Thomas next both the kid and I are watching in separate parts of the Oh, hey hey hey. I was like oh wait I was the first like did it before you. Oh, awesome. Thank you. My nickname used to be the bruiser. Oh, that's funny. Baby Chris. Whoa, Tammy, this is awesome. Yes, thank you, Tammy. It amazes me the generous folks out here. Yes, so generous. The snack pack is amazing. Okay, let's be honest. This guy gave it a try. That's hard enough. He doesn't need the woman's uh click laughing at him. Well, it gets worse, so yeah. No. Um, at least baby Chris gave you an option. I mean, that's true. How old is baby Chris? I'm guessing around eight years old. I mean, maybe. How got a marriage proposal? How do how do you bring him into your humble abode? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. He's looking for a side piece. His, for his little dagger. Oh no. Future wife is too creepy. Trust me. Read The Gift of Fear by Dee Becker, which I already suggested to you. Oh my gosh. I have to check that out. I keep forgetting. You should call him on this live stream. Dude, that would be trippy that's not how you meet someone just weird to get to know him i guess new wife as compares to his old wife Ooh, joy that's a twist that's a twist me and my friend have a saying we when we see a pretty lady there's my next ex-wife i mean that's funny though that's funny i mean not, being an ex is not funny but i know what you mean on that chit chat get to know each other i'm not i don't want to know michelle says yes call him Dory says, I like a man that is bold and knows what he wants. I don't see you with a weakling, but being on YouTube, just be careful. I'm sure you are. Yes, yes. Future wife without even meeting you. Uh, no. Yeah, we and the bruiser will have to give baby Chris a bit of a discussion. It's very weird and kind of scary because baby Chris seems very grandiose. For the record, it wasn't me. <laughs> Thanks for clearing that up. It gets worse. So, Grant's right. Call him. No, don't call him. Put him on the spot. Dudes, let... Let's not humiliate him. Let's be nice. Bold and confident might be good in person when there's a plethora of additional clues right in front of you. Yes. Yeah, and I'm not into bashing people. Okay, so, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not giving nobody's last name or their phone number or their email address. This person could be anybody in the world. It could be a total joke. I have no idea, but, it, but here we go. Let's, let's continue. So up until now, let's recap. This person's from Mississippi. Would you like to be my future wife or my new girlfriend in my life? Here's my number. Call or text when you get a chance. That's all in lowercase. Now it gets serious because he upgrades to all caps. All caps from here on out. All caps. So this is getting real aggressive. Like, you know, we're, we're shouting now. It says... <laughs> it says, I, I love you, future... Al Wait, I love you, future wife, Allison Sharp. How do you love me, bro? How do you know? What? That's weird. And then it says, here's a PS. This is in cap, all caps. This is the part when, like, I know you guys are probably like, don't be mean or don't be like, whatever. But here's the part. Here's the part. And you're going to get it. Here, you're going to get it now. PS. If we dated, I can be very kinky and naughty in bed and hold on I can't I, I'm not ready to go on yet I I got to give you guys a minute with that I got to give you guys a minute with that 
If we dated, I can be very kinky and naughty in bed. I never saw this person in my life, bro. I never, I don't even know who this person, person is. Uh, if you are not willing to speak with him, then your answer is no. Yes. Uh, Jan says, I'm not suggesting you do it, but frankly, it's no different than some of the internet meeting services. I mean, that's true. That's true. Dory says, I'm hanging on every word now. Michelle, but we all love you. That's, that's different. Snack pack love is different than kinky and naughty love. Grant says, who refers to someone with their first and last name? I mean, that's what I'm saying. That's weird when somebody that you don't know is like give, telling your whole last, first and last name in a sentence. It's like, ew, don't, don't address me that way. Hey, all caps and email messages. Yes. Okay. Okay. He may have an AR-15. Never mind. I mean, that's what I'm, that's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Sorgy stories. Yep. Game over. Block. John says, I truly hope you are content in your life at this point. Sending my love. Sending my love. Thank you. Um, Vicky says, warning signs. No thanks, baby Chris. Michelle says, oh my God, how rude. Uh, <laughs> Jay, uh, Ivana, here we go. That guy is not normal. This guy is a freak. Run. Sounds like every dating site I was ever on. Typical dating at BS. Time to cut him off. Be careful. I hope you don't put your location out there when you're by yourself. No, I, I don't. Mike, um, I would block that guy. That's scary. Marianne's barfing. Julie says, no way. Any guy with class doesn't start talking about sex. Factuals, Julie. When a guy comes like this, this is guys, I'm just, let me give you a little side note. I don't know this guy. I don't know anything about anything. I wasn't on a dating app. Like to meet this guy. I didn't, I don't know who this person is. It's just random email that just came through a random person. I don't know anything about anything. It just, just imagine you're going through your work day and you get an email from a stranger. That's exactly this. I don't know anything about anything. So I don't like, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to block the email address, but you know how you could just set up any old email addresses, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't know anything about this person. Um, okay. Be careful. Uh, okay. No. Uh, let's see and also if i so that's a separate note but like when i'm on dating apps and like if i match with somebody i don't really match with a lot of people because i'm kind of picky but if i do match with somebody and the initial thing is like like kind of right off within the first few interactions like little innuendos or sexual comments even if he's the finest guy in the whole history of the universe it turns me off because I'm like, you have nothing else to talk about or offer except for your wiener. Bro, every man has a wiener. Uh, I No, we can get to that later. Don't, don't start with the wiener talk or sexual talks because it's, don't do that. That's, that's not classy. That's not classy. That, that comes later. Um, Heather says, oh my God, I had something similar happen and it freaked me out so much that I blocked the dude demanding me come see him and message more and he is falling ill, 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 ill. Reverend RB, that's right, Grant, who, who, uh, who does that? Yes, he sounds not right. Teresa says, oh Lord, all alone says block him, totally block him, says Esther. Ivana says, why am I thinking of the dude that was wearing the bandaid on his face? <laughs> So what Ivana is talking about is we went out to a club when I was uh, hanging out with Ivana and her friends uh, last weekend, which, you know, I never do, but it was fun. We had a fun night out. But as we were leaving the club, this is a separate story. As we were leaving the club, this dude like just latches on to Ivana, just like walks right next to her. And he has a bandaid on his face like Nelly from the 90s or whatever. I'm like, did you cut yourself shaving or do you think that's a fashion statement because it's neither one is not a good look and he just wouldn't leave us alone i'm like bro get a hint that was a different story but you know i don't think that's this that but you never know phil says he's sick meredith says right for him to talk about sex in all caps is not good yes robert says oh my god this guy sounds canadian i'm just kidding grand <laughs> dory says let's attack don't frick with my friend dude we'll come get you <laughs> the chat in here is cracking me up too um no sex before marriage no cookies for free. Yeah, I am. No, no, no. Unless you met him on whips, chains, and S&M. S&M for me is spaghettis and meatballs. <laughs> that, that's like the only S&M that I'm going for. 
Um, the brutal, it's brutal trying to meet people these days at our ages. I mean, that's so true. And you know, he thinks he's one of the good ones. Very gibbous God. That is a, no truer statement. No true. These, some of the guys that do this kind of thing, they're like, oh, I'm a good dude. Jacques says, sounds like someone who has mental health issues. He probably doesn't listen to you or he would know who you are. You are not a hooker. Block him. Facts. Teresa, stay safe. Alexis says, first night sleeping in my car. Oh, congratulations, Alexis. I'm so excited for you. It's going to be great. I don't want no scrubs. Scrub as a guy that can't get no love from me. Fact story. He could be watching this. I mean, he could. He could. Okay, let's get on to the, the last part of this email, which... <sighs> okay, you guys ready? Hey, Mac979S1 from Reno. Phil says, so dangerous in NYC, you can't close your windows without hitting fingers. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Felix says, I'm a 46-year-old male, and yes, I concur. It's difficult to meet women these days. I'm on Facebook dating. It's horrible. I mean, dating all the way around is horrible for men and women. Last part, did you keep the ring? <laughs> DK. All right. Okay, so the rest of this is still in caps. S still in caps. Um, okay, so P it starts with, it's all a PS. I guess this whole thing is a PS. If we dated, I can be very kinky and naughty in bed. And I can give you a special ABDL photo of me. Now, I'm going to pause for a second because if you don't know what ABDL is, it stands for Adult Baby Diaper Lover. Now, maybe I brought this on because I did a video a while ago when I was living in my car about like wearing diapers when I went to bed like at night for sleeping in the car because you know that was a whole thing go watch the video uh it wasn't like a thing for me to make fun of anybody and it wasn't a thing for me to be announcing my kink about wearing diapers and yet ever since I made that video I get a lot of um dms from guys that want to talk about diapers and I'm like I'm not that's not a thing for me I don't have a fetish I'm not into adult I'm not into adult babies I I'm just telling people an option if they live in a vehicle and they don't have a toilet but ever since then I've been getting messages from people talking about adult baby fetishes so if you're a youtuber maybe don't make a video about diapers because you're gonna get this anyway it says I can give you a special ABDL photo of me when you text me sometime. So that's, you know, I got to text him to, to get the privilege of him sending me a photo of him with his diapers, I guess. Okay, so I can give you a special ABDL photo of me when you text me sometime and I'll reveal my face to you in a good way. I think it's all going to be a bad way. I, I have a feeling it would... I think it's all going to be a bad way. I'm going to reveal my face to you in a good way. I don't think it's ever going to be good. I don't think so. Okay, let me finish these comments and then I'll tell you the last line because it's gross. Um, no, it's a no for me. It's a no for me. Um, dating sucks. Yes, sounds like an STD. Yes. Hey, Courtney. Uh, the uh, DK says, yuck. Phil says, told you. <laughs> Resistant. <laughs> Jordy is laughing <laughs> everybody's got the laughing chris says yuck dory <laughs> julie <laughs> yvonne spit out her wine meredith what the he's so sick esther to be honest he sounds creepy and dory says i just snorted brenda says oh wow Jacques says i told you so his head ain't on straight reverend rv wow uh yeah. sickos for sure <laughs> Phil says, yeah, you should stop hanging the pink rattle from the rear view mirror. <laughs> yeah, let me take all my all my uh, adult baby paraphernalia out of my van. That's a joke for anybody that thinks that's a real thing. It's not. I don't. I'm not into it. Chris has got a lot of barfs. Deb G, gosh, I don't let my husband of 36 years talk to me like that. Report him and just in case, just in case poop happens. Yes. Sounds like a catch, says Felix. <laughs> DK says, did the email come from a mental hospital? Ooh, maybe. 
Phil says, not funny. These weirdos get fixations and exhibit stalking behaviors sometimes. I hope not. He's definitely giving me the heebie-jeebies. Some people, disgusting, definitely. Tell him to meet you in Africa. You'll be right over it. Yeah. I wonder, is this person that doesn't know how to approach women? I'm seriously wondering if that, I mean, that's, maybe. Maybe this is, like, maybe it's, the scary part is, like, if this guy's a troll, this is just all a f stupid joke. It's whatever. Uh, but if this guy is actually serious, like, he thinks, like, he's, you know, this is a thing, like, you know, that's, that's troubling. Um, I send you a slice of my ex's meatloaf for protection. <laughs> Q Marco, I agree with Phil. This is concerning. Stay safe. Thank you. <laughs> Grant's posting the link to that video. Um, Google the email address. For reals, I report this. Uh, hey, Ladybug. Uh, I am in, I am in uh, Carlsbad, California. Um, okay, let me read the last line. But for, for those of you that are saying report this, like, where would I report this? Like, it's an email. Like, where do you report it? To Google? I don't know. I mean, it could be just like a completely made up email address. So this is the last line. So it says, uh, text me sometime and I'll reveal my face to you in a good way. Then it says, love you, honey bunny, Allison baby. And then three hearts. Well, there's one heart, but there's two question marks. Like, I don't know. Like it, let me, it's like, it's like when a, um, excuse me, when an image is broken, so it has two question marks. So I don't know what the two other images are, which I don't want to know. But it says, love you, honey bunny, Allison, baby. Or babe. That's gross. That's gross. Um, and the name is like baby Chris. And then like, one, two, three, four, four, six, seven, eight, nine. It's like, wait. Oh, interesting. Wait a minute now. That's actually a phone number. Oh, it's it's that. Okay, it's Baby Chris, and then it's the phone number um, as his name, and then he does give the phone number later. I'm curious about this. Like, I don't want to call that number because I don't want anything to do with it. Um. But yeah, I don't know how to re I don't know how to report that. Google the email address. Let's see for real to report it. Just. All, just the all caps is a red flag enough and didn't get profiling training at Quantico. Just block him. No contact. Um, SDPD. Can you say serial killer vibes? Yeah, gross. Can it just be a weird joke? I mean, I'm thinking it's just a weird joke. I mean, I hope it's not like super serious. Unfortunately, they can't do anything until he does something. I lost two people to a stalker. Oh my gosh. That's tragic. I'm sorry to hear that. That's what I'm saying. Like, If I go up into a police station and I'm like, look at this email I got. They're going to be like, we can't track anybody from that. Like you'd have to have somebody's like an IP address is not specific to like a dot on the map, like a place, an IP address in the computer is a area like where the cell towers are or the whatever towers for the email situation. So you can't really pinpoint somebody unless like the FBI was investigating somebody. So even if I showed this to the authorities, they're just going to be like, I mean, this could be just like any random person in the whole existence of the world. So I don't think I could even do anything, but I will bl obviously block this email address. So they, but this person could just make up another one. Felix says nice. I live in San Diego, but visiting my mom in the IE at the moment. Okay. Um, Esther says report the email as junk and block. It also transfer the email to the junk. Yes. That's what I'm going to do. It's your life. Protect it. Facts. Keep bear spray, spray close. Yes. Uh, art acro acrobats. Uh, so just for anyone that's, um, wasn't sure a hundred percent, I, I'm not going to accept the proposal. Um, that's my water alarm. I'm not going to accept a proposal. I would like to be married, but I, I don't think that I would want to like be, um, like committed to somebody that wants to do diaper play. Uh, I don't, that's not my vibe. So it's going to be a no for me. I don't want to be married that bad. And if this is my only option, then I'm going to stay single. It's a no, it's a no for me. It's, she said no that, you know, those pictures were like, she said, yes, no, she said, no, she said, it's a no, it's a no, it's a no. 
Um, you should marry him and get out of the van life. I mean, listen, I'd live in van life the rest of my life if, if I had to marry somebody for that reason. Felix says, I've been wanting to convert a van for years and keep talking myself out of it. Oh, do it, do it, do it. If you have something you want to do, make sure you do it because our life is, you know, limited. Yeah, he's not playing with a full deck. I'm just saying that he has some serious issues. Facts. Grant says, I'll call him. Oh, that'd be so funny. I'm going to give Grant his number. Instead of laying out the red carpet for the Queen Mom, he'll lay his diaper on the movie theater seat back for your feet. Gross. Resistant uh, Jordy put his number up. Reverse look up the number. IP address. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up. Have Grant call on a live chat. Some people get hundreds of those comments a week. Maybe it's Tim. It could be. No, I don't think Tim would do that. Find out where he is and the snack pack. Go visit him to check him out. Block the jerk. The police might call the number or know if he's a problem. Ooh, that's interesting. Let's actually... I want to... Let's see. I want to just look up the area code to see if it is a Mississippi area code. Yeah, it is a Mississippi area code. So the phone number could be cute. This could be like a real person. That would be, that'd be really, I would rather this be like a total troll joke because, ew. Um, I don't think the authorities will be able to do anything at this point. It's just a proposal. If he keeps trying to make content, even though you have showed that you are not interested, then it's harassment. Yes. Sorry, but all of us men are big babies. I mean, that's different though. You know what I mean? That's different. Diaper play. S just say no to the dress. Single is better in most cases. Uh, you're really cute and funny. Hold out for five baby pigs and two cows. If you pull off a couple cooking videos, you could easily make it a 10 baby pig. Make it to 10 baby pigs. I'm dying to laughter here. This is random, but my Chinese food just arrived. <laughs> that is pretty random. Any rain in San Diego last couple of Yes, there has been rain, Felix Scat. Uh, there has been some rain. But uh, right now it's sunny. Could be anywhere. Don't have to get new numbers these days. Yeah, was expecting a hurricane and barely any rain. Yeah, exactly. Mississippi got a baby Chris nutcase residing there. Yes, diaper play, the foundation of mine and Jackie's marriage. You could keep that to yourself, Grant. That that Maybe that's why you've made it 10 years, though. I mean... You never know. Everybody has their everybody has their kinks. I'm not sh I'm not kink shaming. It's just not a vibe for me. It's it's definitely not. I'm not into it. It's I don't find it sexy. I would actually like not be into that. That I no. I don't no no. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it there. I, I'm not interested in that. Um. So anyways, that's the uh, that's the full email. Um, so how do you even block somebody on email? I guess I'll do it after so I don't have to waste you guys' time trying to figure out how to block this because it came in through my website. So it didn't come directly from like directly to my email box, like inbox. It came through my, you know, on my website, there's a page for contact. So you can go on there and you can leave me a message and then that gets forwarded to my email. So it actually didn't even come directly on my email, but this person knows my full name, but that's not shocking because on every video, it says my full name. And I mean, it's not a secret what my last name is. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to block on my website maybe? I don't really know. Uh, Dora says, Allison, tell him you're married to your snack packers. He's gotta donate 1 million to be a part of the snack pack. That's not a bad idea. She's just not that into you, dude. <laughs> kink shaming the kinks band would have a problem with that yes just put his email in spam uh yes just picture rob schneider in the movie deuce bigelow when he was in diapers no that's i'm not i'm not i'm not for it i don't find that sexy i wouldn't block right away monitor for a while and see if there really is a concern or if it's a one-off nut that sounds bad <laughs> but i kind of agree with that because if you block and this person's just getting more like crazy, you, I would never know. So I'm gonna just let it go for now, I guess. Um, I need therapy now. 
I would do a phone lookup and some background checking if possible. Hmm. I might look up the phone number uh, just to see. You're not going to be able to block this guy. The only thing you can do is ignore him. To tell you the truth, I'm shocked that this is the only one you got. No, oh, oh, no. I, I get a lot of emails and messages, DMs and emails. I just don't usually like read them out because a lot of them are just dumb. Um, I could make a whole video on the messages I get. Maybe I will. I don't know. Um, but this one was just like so weird and so outlandish and just like using my full name and talking about honey bunny and I love you feature wife and all that. It was just weird, just really off. And I'm like, ew, but also, you know, I'm not even going to be in San Diego. I'm going to be heading to my parents' house, um, tomorrow. And then I'm going to be there for the next four to six weeks or however long it's going to take for me to recover. So this isn't really like a huge concern for now, but obviously if this person gets crazy, I'll keep you guys posted. I hope it doesn't get in that direction. Felix, I had a woman acting like a stalker and I didn't block for that reason. Oh my gosh, that's nuts. I'd wait to see if there's a follow-up. Yes. Wanted to know her thinking. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Joanne Epps, just got here. Is your other channel up yet? My other channel's gonna be up, I think, on Wednesday. So coming soon. Lance says, if I wore a diaper, I'd look like a sumo wrestler. <laughs> Robert says he could be the one that got away. I mean, I'm gonna let him get away. I'm gonna let him, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him get away. It's gonna be okay. Tina says love bombing. Yes, maybe you should read us your emails more often. Maybe, maybe this will be a new little series. Everything about baby Chris is weird. I mean, that's, that's true. Don't give out, don't give out your schedule. I mean, that's probably true. I kind of just did, but I think everybody on Snack Pack knows I'm gonna re be recovering in my, at my parents' house, so. That's just the way it is. The one that got away. Um, it's I don't want this one. Uh, I'm sure you are fine. Sounds like a troll. I'm thinking it is a troll. Like, you know, I get these messages and I get I do also get a lot of um, emails from people that still want to buy feet pictures or DMs for people that want to do feet pictures or asks or asking when I'm gonna do an OnlyFans page. There's a movie on Hulu or Netflix and it's all about OnlyFans. Those girls be making fat stacks of cash, bro. If I didn't have moral values, you know, it's a lot. You could make a lot of money. But I do have values and morals, and it's not worth it because if if my two sons or my parents found out I did OnlyFans, I would be mortified. And you know what's weird is, like, when people start out in this direction of, like, selling feet pics, underwear, or OnlyFans, or all these things. And it's like, in the moment, like you're thinking, oh, it's gonna, I'm I'm not even gonna be worried about it. I'm just gonna like do this thing for a short period of time, make my money and then move on. Or like, um, I'm gonna be a stripper or I'm gonna, you know, do an OnlyFans and like, it's really not that serious. I celebrate my body and all these things. But like, you don't, I don't think people think long-term, like 10 years from now, you're, naked butt cheeks are on the internet and more and not just butt cheeks but other butt parts and front front parts and I don't think people think that through because you might have a turn of heart later on in life and you might be like super um like conservative and someone could bring that up later on and there's nothing you can do about it. The people will just have all your picks, and I don't think that's a good idea. So when you do things when you're younger, it can really come back to bite you, and I don't think it's a good thing. So it is tempting, you know, when you're when you're not making much money, it is tempting to do unscrupulous things. But for me, I have to, I, I put my trust in God. I say, well, God controls all the money in the world, so I'm fine. I'm not going to worry about it. But I know that there's a lot of people that get really tempted to do some of these things. And I do understand it. I really do. Um, Carol says, that's scary. Please be careful. I know you're smart and careful, but there are a lot of nuts at facts. Yes, I will be careful. Thank you. I'm sure women on dating sites get weird messages like that all the time. That's also true. I've gotten messages on dating apps that are weird too. I also had a few people try to 
troll me on apps and like I think it was one of those um, like scam scam people trying to get money agreed why only 13 likes good numbers however yes um, be proud you have good morals yes I am proud pearls don't pearls morals don't pay the rent oh yeah no rent <laughs> yes I don't even know what OnlyFans is Dory OnlyFans is like what is OnlyFans is like it's like Patreon but for nakedness I mean you can have an OnlyFans that's not sexual I mean, it's not only for sexual things, but OnlyFans, when you say OnlyFans, it typically is people showing, not just women too, men on there, showing their bodies, you know, and doing things. And I think you can even, I've never been on it, but I think you can even like send people gifts or like, I'm not really sure, but I watched the little documentary about it and you, like these girls, like people are sending them gifts and all kinds of money and stuff like that I know women that do online shows the money isn't as good as it sounds I know a few girls that still have to borrow money for gas and they have been doing it for years now oh that's what the documentary was saying is like sometimes the girls will get started on there and you know they might be like the new flavor of the month and then other new girls come on there and so um, you know they get they don't get as much so the people that have been doing it for a while don't get as much money and so then you got to show more you know you got to show more and more and more or show like different body parts or start accepting invitations to do things and because you know it's just like anything like after a while you're not like the top person anymore so you got to try harder and it's just not a good road not missing a thing not knowing your yes don't be fooled yes but parts and front parts <laughs> The Lord will with reward will reward the righteous. Yes. The internet is forever. I never met a stable person who looked looked back fondly on the type of Yes, exactly. God is so good. Facts. Let us know if his next email is about his twig and <laughs> twig and berries. Oh no. Oh no. Sometimes I crack myself at how naive I am. Yeah, don't if you don't know or care about anything about OnlyFans, leave it leave it alone. Some of the lady pro wrestlers have OnlyFans and make more money there than wrestling. I mean, I believe that. I believe it. You know, there's a lot of people on there that want... You know, the thing is, is like, it's not even... I mean, don't get me wrong. We all make choices. And the people that are the performers on OnlyFans, they have their own, you know, decisions. But if you think about it, we don't really talk about the subscribers of OnlyFans. Like, people that are paying for that, I know we all have our sinful ways or sinfulness or things we like you know some people drink smoke shop gamble you know sleep around like everybody has their things i eat sugar a lot i mean you know it's all a thing but the people that watch those are the ones that are keeping that going you know if nobody's buying people really wouldn't do it you know if you're if like if you're gonna go on there and show a couple nips for like 10 bucks i mean maybe there's somebody that would do that but i mean if you, if you start making less and less money, people wouldn't do it. It wouldn't be a big thing because you'd be like, I'm not gonna, I could just go to the gas station and show my nips. I'm not gonna like and get $10. <laughs> I'm not gonna do a whole show. So I think it's the people that are subscribing to these this content that needs to check themselves because it's like, but that's never gonna go away because you know, that's like a whole other thing. Um. Yeah, it is sad. Um, then there's oh, bad baby. Uh, she made bank horrible way to make money. My yeah, bad baby. Uh, yeah, a lot of these uh, celebrities are doing those kinds of things. Uh, Gypsy Moot Dora says you're getting a proposal and tomorrow you'll be getting divorced. Finally, I wrote. If you remember, yes, girl. Finally, yes. Um. Yes. Um, all right, so that's my that's my story, um, and after this, I'm gonna figure out. I'm gonna go on my um, website like provider to find out how I can actually block somebody on my website. Um, but I think at first I'm gonna just wait just to see if I get anything else um, because you know I get these things all the time, so I guess I'm not as concerned 
And I do appreciate the love and the concern from you guys because you guys are like, no, block him down and report him. And I, I feel that concern and I appreciate that. I get these kinds of messages all the time, which is sad because it's not just me. It's like anyone that's even remotely a creator or like posts on Instagram or TikTok, you know, I think most women are getting these kinds of messages, but I do get, that's hot. All of a sudden it just got hot. Um, I do get a lot of these messages. So to me, I just kind of like don't, and of course I never answer and I just let it go. But I'm going to, this one definitely stood out just as like a little like, oh, that's weird. Um, so I'm going to just let it ride and then uh, hopefully nothing comes, hopefully nothing else comes through. So, you know, we'll just leave it at that. But I am going to figure out how to block just when I'm ready to do that. I'll be able to do it. Creeps paying for it should just wait until it's leaked. <laughs> I mean, that's another way, I guess. So it doesn't mean we're all invited. <laughs> uh, I'm not getting married to this guy. Ignore probably just goes away. I think so too. I was cutting a doctor's hair. He was watching OnlyFans. She was nude and they were talking. I had no idea what it was then. Oh my gosh. They look for a reaction. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, that is so weird. We, but we are all watching you, dude. Just know that. Yeah. I got my snack pack crew on the ready. It is flipping hot all of a sudden. I do get hot flashes sometimes. Um, it's hot. I think it's only like 80 degrees though, which in my van, that means it's like more than that, but I'm very grateful that it's cooled down a little bit. Um, Dora says, you are loved and we got your back. Thank you. Hey, Ron Allen. You're turning red. I know. I'm like so hot right now. I should have brought my fan up here. Whew. All right. So let me tell you guys a couple more things and then we're going to wrap it up for today. I can only imagine the messages you get. Yeah. Some of them are weird and gross. Um, all right. So let's see. <laughs> uh, uh, it's so hot. Can I roll this window down? Oh. Let me turn on some air in here. I'm so glad I got my AC fixed in the front here because it wasn't working so great. The other thing with hot flashes is that um, I was taking this over-the-counter supplement that I just got at Walmart. You can get it on Amazon or Walmart. It's called Black Cohash, and it's like a known thing, you know, that women can take when they have hot flashes. Um, but when I went to my pre-op, my doctor, the surgeon, she's like, "Oh, you're taking Black Cohash," and I was like, "Yeah," and she's like, "You know, you're only supposed to take that for a total of six months." in your whole life. Like if you're on hot flashes, you can take it, but you need to, it's not a permanent thing because it can affect your, I think, liver. And I was like, I never heard that. There's no, I don't think there's even a warning on the bottle. So I don't even know how long I've been taking it. I don't take it consistently anyways. So I don't think I'm at risk, but she was like, you got to, now I got to get you a, like a liver blood work or whatever. I'm like, what the heck? That's crazy. Um, so anyways, what I wanted to tell you is that, um, so uh, tonight's my last night, um, kind of like, kind of like my last uh, free night of, of freedom in my, in my adult hood. That sounds so bleak, um, and dramatic. What I mean by that is that, uh, tonight I'm in my van tomorrow. Uh, I have to go to the, to the doctor and get my COVID test. Cause you got to get a COVID test three days before your surgery. And then I have to get all my blood panel work done, like so they can check all my blood and make sure that I'm a good candidate still for the surgery. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm having a hysterectomy on Thursday. Um, so I got to get all my blood work done tomorrow. Um, and I pray to the Lord God Almighty that I do not have COVID or any bad things because if you have COVID test positive, you're immediately stopped from getting the surgery for at least 30 days. So that means I have to like wait and like especially going through COVID and all these things. So that suck. I don't feel bad or anything. I'm just saying, I'm just don't want it to come back positive. Um, 
It's like, I do that tomorrow. Um, then, then tomorrow and Tuesday and Wednesday, I have to prepare the bedroom, you know, for my recovery. So I need to get like, um, I, oh, I ordered, um, you guys know those like rolling tables that like, it's like in hospitals that like rolls under the bed on the bottom and is like a table like right here. So I could still make some videos when I'm recovering and I could like eat on the table, you know? So it kind of like rolls under the bed on the bottom. Um, it's like a bed table tray thingy. Um, so I ordered one of those on Amazon, so it should get there in the next couple days. Um, I need to order a heating pad. Um, and then I need to get some groceries um, because I'll be in my parents' house. And then I need to set up my room because I'm going to need, you know, like little things. I don't know. I have a whole list of things I need. Like, um, I guess like when you're getting the surgery, they put a tube down your throat. So they said your throat might be sore, so you might need some throat lozenges. Have crackers in case you feel nauseous. I have all my pain medications. Look at this biggest bag of pain of um, medications that they gave me. Now some of it is like ibuprofen or I don't know what it is, um, but there's pain medication, nausea medication, stool softener. Um, so I have that already, but I need to get like my bedroom all situated so that I can, you know, be comfortable when I'm recovering. Um, yeah, hot flashes suck. I can only imagine the messy. Okay, let's see. If baby Chris is watching right now, he needs to get help as a therapist. Yes. Baby Chris, if you're watching, we're not trying to make fun of you, but please, sir, go get some help. Um, dude, we are over the worst of the heat. Thank God. Yes. Yes. How are you surviving in, surviving the inflation and the high cost of food? Um, Things are much higher. Things are much higher. I've been just like trying to be frugal, you know, not, I've been eating less, honestly. That's like one of my tactics is just eating like one meal a day. And I'll usually buy something that's bigger. Like I got stuck this week on like breakfast burritos. You know those breakfast burritos that are huge? Eggs, cheese, and potatoes. That's it. And then some ketchup. No extra things. Um, and so what I would do is I'd cut it in half and eat half of that big old fat breakfast burrito like maybe at like 10 in the morning or 11 in the morning and then I wouldn't eat again until like dinner time and uh, then I would eat like a little half salad so that it was just like I have some greenery in my life um, so I'm just eating less basically and that's the way I'm saving money intrepid hot flashes stink yes yes uh, got me worried glad you put the AC on yes thank you thank you Menopause sucks. Yes. Glad I never had hot flashes. Good for you. Good for you. Try hot flashes while baking in the bakery. It's like the devil is alive. That's how I feel when I'm in my van and I got a hot flash and it's hot in here. It's just like triple hot. Praying every day. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. I'm in my fourth year on menopause and finally some relief. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you're finally getting some relief because that's terrible. Um, hold on a second. cool okay um all right so before we hey i lost my okay hold on best of luck with your surgery we were praying thank you john thank you thank you um phil says good luck on the surgery ellie i didn't know yes uh thank you thank you menopause feels like you are dying but you are around to witnesses yeah i mean that's true dk i just found your channel yesterday i was it was the spring spring insert video i don't know which one that is Thank you for being here. Prayers for you during this weekend during recovery. Thank you, Phil. Welcome to the snack pack. We are a fun bunch and we don't like creepy dudes. Yeah. Oh, mini fridge. You know what? That's actually a smart idea. Um, but I probably won't because the fridge, I'm supposed to be walking after the surgery. They want me to walk as soon as possible and walk like, you know, in the house. Good luck with your surgery. I'll be praying for you. Ice is the best for sore throat. Oh, that's a good point. <clears throat> Should be lady paws. <laughs> Uh, hey Daniel, um, bedroom tour. Oh, that might be a good little video. Uh, Daniel, I'm having a hysterectomy. Uh, thank you, Reverend RB. Thank you, Phil. Prayers for your surgery goes well and your recovery is easy peasy. Thank you. Have you tried a cooling blanket? They seem to work. Got the idea from a buddy place here. Hmm. I don't, I've looked up cooling blankets and every review says it doesn't really do cooling. So I'll, I'll try to look for that again. 
I'll look on Bunny Plays here uh, uh, videos. Hey, Ken. She's too young for that surgery. Oh, no, I am not that young, but thank you. Uh, we'll keep you in our prayers. Okay, so, so anyway, so I wanted to just tell you that this week I'll be getting everything ready. Now, my plan is to release the new channel on Wednesday. Um, and before that, I'll, I'll be posting a, like a sneak peek of the channel. But then on Wednesday, I'm going to be going live with that channel. Not live streaming, but I'm going to be, that channel will be posted, ready to look at and subscribe to. Um, Wednesday night, if I can get all of my crap together, if I can get everything done and all ready, I am planning to have a live stream the night before my surgery because I won't be able to do live streams. I will be able to do it, but I'm not going to be up to it. So for the next two weeks after that, I won't be doing live streams. So the night before my surgery, I want to do a live stream so that I can, you know, get you guys all gathered together and we can, you know, you guys can pray and it'll be great. Um, so uh, that'll be on this coming Wednesday. Okay. So I wanted to come on today to let you know that I'm really going to try to do a live stream on Wednesday. If I, for whatever reason, cannot do a live stream on Wednesday night, I will post a community message to let you guys know. Um, but my plan is to, even if it's for just 30 minutes, I want to come on and let you guys know that, you know, how I'm doing the night before. Um, and then I will do my best to post weekly um, a little update on the channel, just so you guys know how it's coming along, how the recovery is coming along. So I'm going to do my best. I'm, I am trying not to push myself like to the max. And so I'll do my best, but, um, just know that I will be great and I appreciate everybody's prayers and love and hugs and all the things. So I, I want to keep you guys updated. So I'm going to really do my best to do those things. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Best of luck on your surgery. I wish you speed recovery. Thank you. Prayers for you. I'm having back surgery in two weeks and I'll look for your posts when I recover. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm praying for your surgery as well. Rebecca C. Good luck and on your surgery. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the prayers. Kansas, South Carolina. Oh, awesome. Um, prayers for everyone here. God bless you. Prayers, Allison. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be checking on you by my birthday 16th. Oh, awesome. Everything will be okay. I'm praying for it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, my birthday's on the 25th. So that's going to be kind of a bummer because I'm just going to be laid up in bed on my birthday. But I didn't have any other plans anyway. So whatever. Um, I'll try to put a post up on my birthday uh, just to, I mean, I'm not going to be doing anything but laying around. <laughs> So anyways, um, well, I appreciate you guys for joining in today. Uh, it's been super fun. I'm going to drink some more water and maybe eat a little bit of this uh, cheese bread. And I'm trying to save all my movies and shows uh, for when I'm recovering because I, I want to like have a lot to be able to watch. Uh, so I'm trying not to watch a lot like right now, but I am kind of tired. And so I think I'm going to just like curl up in my pajamas and just chill out for the rest of the day today. So I appreciate you guys very, very much. You guys are so sweet and so special to me. Um, and I love you guys very much. And thank you for um, all the fun today, all the comments and all the, the humor that was great. And uh, I hope you guys have an excellent evening and an excellent week coming up. And I should be back with you guys on Wednesday. So, and I'll be posting a video on Wednesday as well. So uh, until then, bye. Uh, let's see, let's see. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Shallow Hal, I've seen that, but I might put that back on my list. Um, relax and don't put so much pressure on you. Thank you, thank you, love you, love you, yes. Here, I hope to see you on Wednesday. Good night, please post any good shows. Awesome, yes, yes. Yeah, if you guys have any good shows, uh, post comments under any of the videos that I make so that I can look it up. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.